hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged so it's not in the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it let's get to it this video um right here i want to talk about all these meetings that former artists are having before they're taken out okay y'all i want y'all to think about something very important okay before mo3 was taken out there were these meetings being set up lots of meetings being set up before mo3 was taken out people were reaching out to mo3 security okay because this was sean g said sean g said that jay prince reached out to him and told him he needed to talk to mo3 okay I want y'all to think about these meetings. Every time before an artist is taken out, they are always followed by, you know, the death is followed by these meetings. Okay? All of a sudden, Nipsey Hussle was having all of these meetings all of a sudden. Having meetings with Rock Nation, meetings with the police station, all this stuff. He gets taken out okay what the hell are these meetings about y'all okay and i have to turn my head while i'm talking to you all instead of looking at what y'all looking at right here on the front of this you know i cannot stand this shit on his head i just can't okay so i have to turn turn away you know beyonce you know i don't know how she do it to be honest i really don't this ragamuffin right here, um, I don't know how she does it. I think back about Martin Lawrence when he was doing a stand-up comedy and he was like, she coming out of the shower with um, water glistening all over her body. <laughs> Remember that, y'all? <laughs> he did a, a stand-up and he was saying that I can't even imagine Jay-Z coming out the shower, y'all. With them skinny ass legs that he has. This crazy ass hairstyle that he has. Not to mention he is a frightful sight for sore eyes in itself. And instead of him keeping a clean cut. Trying to you know look professional. And make her have something to look at. This is what he chooses to punish her with. And I don't understand it. Out of all the men in the industry. She chose to go this route with this this thing right here and um going a direction of illuminati mess and worshiping the devil and all this stuff why would she choose this y'all i just i can't i can't with this this right here okay but let's get back to the story at hand what's up with all these meetings y'all okay Mo three before he's taken out, he's having all these meetings in Houston. They wasn't settled with what happened at the meeting with him and Ti and all these people. They comes to his house after the meeting, Jay Prince. Okay, y'all. And after the meetings, and they didn't get what they wanted out of this man. He's taken out. Okay. Nipsey Hussle is in meetings with these people. He's in meetings with um. Uh, jay-z telling all his business and his ideas and all what he you know want to get going and then he's taken out okay and before nipsey hustle was taken out i want y'all to pay attention that nipsey hustle they wanted to accept him into the elites but at the same time because he was in those videos with jay prince and them and all of them and then all of a sudden he's taken out. Did he backtrack and be like, no, I don't want nothing at this mess. Okay. Because they say there's levels to this stuff and you have to pass certain, um, you know, rituals. So did, you know, 
ask yourself this question. Did Nipsey get it to a certain ritual? And he was like, I'm good on this. And then they was like, okay, he got to go. Hmm? I want you to think about Prince. Prince was having meetings. He had just, just, just. Remember, he was walking around with slave on his face. He finally erased the slave off his face. And he got his master's back. And as soon as he got his master's back, he started having meetings with this shit right here, y'all. Okay? What the hell would Prince need from Jay-Z, y'all? Not a damn thing. But he started dealing with this. As soon as he started dealing with Jay-Z, all of a sudden, he comes up dead too. Okay? Now, there's new music coming out. People was bringing to my attention that Dolph got a new song out, y'all. And in this new song that they just released, he is talking about his meeting with Rock Nation. And then Dolph is taken out. Now, never mind, allegedly, because we can't believe what this guy said that came for it, talking about Dolph that showed me his bank account. I don't believe that at all. But did he have a meeting with Empire? Did You know, was there a meeting with Empire? Did he have a meeting with Rock Nation? Because he's singing about it in this new song. Why is these same record labels always the circle of these same four record labels? It's always in the midst of somebody passing away. We got Rock Nation. We got CMG. We got Empire. And we have Mob Ties. All four. And I keep telling y'all these guys are in cahoot. I keep telling y'all. They playing chess, not checkers. Okay? And the chess pieces are their rappers. And they're sitting back. They're artists. And they're sitting back. And they're, you know, they're sitting back and they're, you know, maneuvering and playing with the lives of all of their artists. And when they crap out and have a game with one of these other record labels and, you know, they laughing with the cigars and the expensive drinks and this and that and that and this, you know, are they gambling their lives away? Ask yourself this question. They could be playing dice. And, you know, you win a dice game, you get to take out an artist. You win the dice. I'm telling you, y'all, it could not even be money anymore. It's about, you know, their artists. You know, you're talking about people from the streets, y'all. They love a good dice game. You have to think about this. You really do. You have to think about it in this way. Do they gamble the lives of their artists when they're all mingling and tingling and now hanging out together? Just the record labels, y'all, not the artists. Just the heads all kicking it together. Because we've been seeing they've been having nice little gatherings together. Is this a side joke that they do? You know, if you crap out, you lose an artist. And then they set it up. And it's a game to them, y'all. Let's make them beef with this artist before they go, though, so we can make some money off of it. You know, you have to think like this because you have to think like them. Okay? If you're from the streets, you, if you know, you know. You know, dice games are very important to people on the streets. Some people play away that they, 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 they rent money. Okay? And come back talking about, I gambled the rent money, baby. Oh, I know. These street guys... You know, if they still gamble, they'll gamble the roof over their head away. You think that these guys want to be sitting back playing games with their artists' lives and gambling them away? And laughing? Who stood to gain from Empire? I mean, from um, Dolph being taken out, but Empire. Empire has signed a deal with him. A fresh deal, y'all. It wasn't, you know, something old. It was something new that he had just signed with Dolph, y'all. Dolph being taken out was a business deal. It was a serious business deal that included a lot of people. Okay, y'all? Dolph's baby mama... Running around acting, you know, people's come to my comments saying, talking about she acting like she Marilyn Monroe, y'all. 
with all her white on and stuff and report you know jumping on there talking about she missed Dolph but you ain't talking about no justice for Dolph that's a whole nother video we gonna talk about it though she, when her brother passed she talked about justice for him she talked about the people that took him out Dolph passed she said she missed him her life has changed but she's not talking about the people that had played a part and she also, you know, a lot of people like, oh, people saying that she's supporting Makita's name. Y'all look at the sign. She got her sign talking about, you know, black men should grow old. That sign is right over the top of the Makita's cookie shop, y'all. She support these people. How do you jump and start supporting people that. This is where your your man was taken out at. And you don't even know for sure if they had something to do with it or not. How do you jump aboard and start supporting them? How do you at the funeral start having meetings with big companies like Empire? You're having meetings after the funeral with these people that Dolph was allegedly doing business with that lose artists all the time. Now they're releasing new songs and the new songs are saying that he had a meeting with Jay-Z too. Prince had a meeting with Jay-Z too, y'all. And he was taken out. Is y'all paying attention to the moles and the people that got their feet planted on the ground that's involved some way, somehow, allegedly, with a lot of artists that has had a meeting with them and then they're taken completely out. Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention to what's going on in front of you. I didn't even know that Dolph was having meetings with Rock Nation. You know... When people were talking about the $22 million and people were saying that Yo Gotti was offering him $22 million, and Yo Gotti wasn't even worth $22 million at the time that they, he was offering. They were saying that he was offering him. Yo Gotti is tied to Jay-Z, y'all. So it makes you wonder where the $22 million was really coming from. Was it really an offer from Jay-Z instead of CMG, y'all? And did Jay-Z feel some type of way with him turning him down? Did Nipsey turn Jay-Z down? Ask yourself this question. And is that why Nipsey is gone too? People were trying to find out who in the world was paying for this expensive lawyer for Eric Holder. When everything first went down, remember y'all? Why is it always somebody in the cut that's behind something major hmm? was Jay-Z behind Eric Holder getting that lawyer hmm? but didn't want it tied to him but you know was, was he was he behind the 22 million for Dolph ask yourself this question was Jay-Z behind Prince in that elevator going down I told y'all, you know, it's a lot of unanswered questions roaming around here. Okay? And this ooga booga right here, a lot of fingers are starting to point back to this guy right here. The devil worshiping, you know, ooga booga. Things are pointing back to him. And every time I told you, every time I look at him, Lord, I said, Beyonce, she's got to be, she got to get a drink on, y'all, to look at this coming out the shower. Because usually when your man come out that shower and you looking at him and you like, yes, yes. But this right here, you be like, no, no, oh, God, how did I end up with this? Hmm? No matter how much money he got, y'all. Because a lot of the money that he allegedly got, 
They're saying he got it from, you know, doing some bad dealings, y'all. And selling out his people, y'all. And y'all see that over and over and over again. He sells out his own people, y'all. I'm just saying. What kind of business would Dolph have to be doing with this guy outside of him going over the $22 million, offer him more? He said he had a meeting in the song. What was it about? And why was Dolph having all these meetings with all these people? All he had to do was say, I'm straight. I'm making enough money off the streets. I'm, I don't need it. And I'm a rapper and I got people coming to my shows. I can make, he could, Dolph was independent. Well, he was saying he was independent, but he wasn't all independent because he was signed with Empire. Okay, y'all. So he wasn't all independent. You know, I hate for the say it, but you know, people who hate for you to tell the truth. If you sign with a distribution deal these days, you're not independent because they hold on to your masters until they get their money back. Okay, y'all? Or until they decide that they want to let go of your masters. So you're not really independent. I don't understand why he would go sign with Empire. I really don't. If you were making the money that you were making already, what was the purpose of signing with Empire? Y'all. What was the purpose of having meetings with Jay-Z now? Because he seemed like he was business-wise smart on his own. He didn't really need to, you know, mix, mingling and tingling and in with these other guys. And <laughs> didn't Dolph see that people were dropping like fry flies that was dealing with these guys? Or was he just not paying that no attention, y'all? Mo 3. Grew up hanging around, trapped them. They set him up. They own, allegedly, their own friend. One minute they smiling in the face. Next minute they laughing. Ah, ha, ha, you gone on the expressway. It's over with. The deed is done. This is how friends go from growing up together to taking each other out in the industry. Dolph didn't see this. Then he started dealing with trap now. Dolph did not see all the backstabbing that was going on around him. The people were in his face one minute and the next minute they posting up pictures and taking and talking and dealing with CMG. That were in his circle of business partners, y'all. Y'all got to wake up. But this is a whole new ball game now. The fact that Dolph is saying he had a meeting with Rock Nation, it brings it full slab back circle to where I've been telling y'all in the first place. These guys are playing Russian roulette with their artists and, you know, playing chess with other elites. And, they, you know, the artists are the prey. And this is what it's looking like more and more and more. And every time somebody gets taken out, they talk about everybody else, but they do not talk about the person who looks as if they got their hand in the cookie jar of every artist almost that then had a meeting with them that then got taken out right after they had a meeting with Jay-Z. Is this why he's so respected in the streets? Because, you know, he plays a part allegedly in taking out big time artists. And then he gets a cut out of stuff that they're, you know, they were involved in. People are saying that a bunch of clothing, shoe lines, all this stuff. It leads back to, that has something to do with Nipsey. This stuff is not going to Nipsey's family. This money is going to Jay-Z now. Just like King Von being taken out. Mo3 being taken out. All these artists got clothing lines. All this stuff is under Empire. They're saying Nipsey's clothing line and gym shoes and all the stuff. The money that's being made off of Nipsey right now. It goes through Jay-Z and Beyonce, y'all. This is what I'm hearing. 
This is what I'm hearing. So y'all, who's going to make all the money off of Dolph clothes and all the stuff that start popping up under his name? I know Mommy O and Daddy Oreo cookies. They got their little clothing line. But who's really, you know, things are going to be under their name? Is it going to, is Dolph, you know, earning a lot of his clothing and things like that? Is it going with his name on it? Is it going to go through Empire or is it going to go through Jay-Z? I'm just trying to figure it out right now because Jay-Z is getting his hand all in a cookie jar of the same stuff that Empire is doing to people. He's doing it too, but nobody's talking about it. It's not nothing major as far as they'll say a little something and then they go about their business and put, point the fingers as well. But Nipsey passing away and his clothes and all this stuff and the gangs fighting over who name going to be on this and that and that and this and who going to make the money off of him. And then now it's ending up that the clothing line is going through Beyonce and Jay-Z name. Y'all come on now. Wake up. Please wake up, y'all. Okay? Because this is where it begins and this is where it's ending with these higher ups like this. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.